today i will discuss previous year grade questions of electrical engineering analog engineering subject electrical engineering previous year grade questions asked in analog electronics subject see question number 1 the mobility of electron is a conductor mobility of an electron in a conductor expressed in terms of options are centimeter square per volt second b is centimeter per volt second c is centimeter square per volt d is centimeter square per second <coughs> as you know that average speed of electron is equal to b is equal to mu into e b is mu into e where mu is the mobility of electron and e is the electric field here we can say that mu is equal to velocity upon electric field e is the electric field and v is the velocity <coughs> you all are know that unit of velocity is centimeter per second and unit of electric field is voltage per centimeter put here and we get unit of mobility of electron centimeter square per volt second so here option is centimeter square per volt second it means our e option is correct e option is correct <coughs> this question has been asked in electrical gate 99 now second question second question is that as temperature is increased the voltage across the diode carrying conduct carrying constant current as temperature is increased the voltage across a diode carrying a constant current carrying a constant current <coughs> option a increase decrease remains constant may be increased or decrease depending upon the doping level of junction here question says that if current in a semiconductor device diode constant then what will be the effect of voltage we all are know that temperature dependent formula for a conductor or semiconductor is rt is equal to r not 1 plus alpha t <coughs> where rt is the resistance at a temperature unknown temperature r not is the resistance at room temperature and alpha is the temperature coefficient T is temperature in degree Celsius. Now, for semiconductor or for diode, alpha will be negative temperature coefficient. Alpha will show negative temperature coefficient, whereas for the conductor it shows positive temperature coefficient. It means if temperature increases, then the resistance of conductor will increase, and if temperature decreases, then the resistance of semiconductor or diode will decrease. It means if temperature increase for diode, the resistance will decrease. If the resistance will decrease, then what will happen with current? Current will increase. In question says that I is constant. <coughs> Question says that I is constant. If I is constant, then I will be V by R as per Ohm's law, and I is constant, and 
are these decreases r is decreases if with temperature if r is decreases to maintain i constant b should be decrease if i want i constant and r is decreases continuously then voltage should be decrease it means voltage should be decrease so here option b is correct voltage should be decrease Now come to next question, which is asked in gate electrical ninety-nine. Question is the cutting voltage of both Zener diode D Z and D as shown in figure is zero point seven. Is zero point seven voltage while breakdown voltage of Zener is 3.36 volt and reverse breakdown voltage of D is 50 volt. The outer parameter can be the other parameter can be assumed to be seen as those of ideal diode. The value of peak output voltage are <coughs> In this question, here this is a Zener diode and this is the simple diode. And question asks that what will be voltage V0 across this resistance 1 kilo ohm? If this voltage is excited by if this circuit is excited by a constant AC source 10 sin omega t. <coughs> The voltage peak voltage V naught, the value of peak voltage V naught. Consider positive half cycle, first positive half cycle. In positive half cycle, Zener diode will be in reverse wise as soon. Zener diode here, if we consider here is Zener diode. And this is P and N, here there is negative and here is positive, then this diode will be in reverse wise. Similarly, if you consider here diode here positive, here negative, then this diode will be in reverse wise. <coughs> Zener diode is reverse wise and diode will be forward wise. Condition for diode. To be forward wise is that if this is a diode, then this will be P and N. If this connected is positive and this negative, then this diode will be forward wise. So we can say diode will be forward wise. Both are in conduction. If both are in conduction, then what will happen? The breakdown voltage of Gina diode given 3.3 volt and cutting voltage of diode is 0.7 volt as shown in question. <coughs> now Replace Zener diode by a voltage drop 3.3 volt and diode by a voltage drop 0.7 volt. <coughs> Zener diode uh, diode forward breakdown is given. Cutting voltage is given 0.7 volt. Now what will happen? This parallel resistance and this are both are parallel. This AB and BC both are parallel. 
what it means it means voltage drop across ab will be equal to voltage drop across bc it's a basic network principle so we can calculate the voltage drop here the polarity will be plus minus and here the polarity will be plus minus it means these both polarity are supported each other so add up these two these both polarity 3.3 and 0.7 it means 4 volt it means in forward wise the b naught will be 4 volt when positive half cycle then b naught will be 4 volt now come to negative half cycle if you consider second negative half cycle then <coughs> see for negative half cycle diode will be reverse wise diode D will be reverse wise so if diode will be reverse wise then diode work as open circuit and there is no current flowing diode so if there is no current flow in diode then i will be zero across diode then circuit will be this circuit will be this here one kilo ohm and this path is broken here this path is broken no current here here i will be zero okay <coughs> Now this both, both resistance are in series and if you want to calculate current voltage across this resistance then we can apply voltage division rule as we simple we can calculate the current across this resistance and by cal calculating current we can apply ohms law for finding the voltage across 1 kilo ohm here if you can you want to calculate current then your voltage is 10 and the distance will be 1 plus 1 is 2 10 by 2 is 5 and if you want to calculate v not here the 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm the distance then V0 is equal to 5 into 1 is equal to 5 volt. Okay. <coughs> then this voltage drop will be 5 volt. Then absent, it means that uh, in forward wise voltage drop will be 4 volt and in second, uh, second half cycle reverse wise voltage will be 5 volt. Here we can see that these both resistance are in series and have equal magnitude so voltage drop 10 volt can be divided in equal half and 5 volt drop will be in this 1 kilo ohm and 5 volt voltage drop will be in this 1 kilo ohm. We can calculate simply. No need to apply KPL or Ohm's law. Okay. Come to next question. <coughs> This question asked in 2002 electrical engineering. Question says that the forward the forward resistance of diode showing figure is 5 ohm. Figure is this. The forward resistance of diode showing figure is 5 ohm and remaining parameters are the same as those of ideal diode the dc component of source current is the dc current component of source current is option is vm by 55 v is vm by 55 into under root 2 c is vm by 100 by under root 2 d is 2 vm by 55 <coughs> now Come to figure and solution. This is figure. 
क्वेश्चन सेज डेट फॉरवर्ड वॉइस रेजिस्टेंस फॉरवर्ड रेजिस्टेंस इज फाइव ओम देन वी हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस डायोड बाय फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस रिप्लेस दिस डायोड बाय फॉर फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस एंड सर्किट विल बी दिस यू नो दैट डायोड कैन ओनली कंडक्ट इन पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल एंड इट कैन नॉट कंडक्ट इन रिवर्स वाइज सेकेंड हाफ साइकिल so output wave form of voltage will be this if output voltage will be this then you can calculate average voltage across resistance r you can calculate average voltage of resistance r by applying average formula what will be the formula for the average value b average will be 1 upon t integration of 0 to t f f t d t this is the formula for calculating of average value of any function or any signal here time period will be 2 pi because again here it repeats here time period will be 2 pi and signal has magnitude from 0 to pi and it does not have magnitude from pi to 2 pi it means it give zero result <coughs> so we can say that 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi pm sin omega t this is the pm sin omega t plus integration of 1 upon 2 pi pi to 2 pi of 0 d omega t here d omega t is missing okay now integration of sin omega t will be minus cos omega t put here limit we can find this cos g to minus cos pi 1 plus 1 is equal to b m by pi b average will be v m by pi if b average will be v m by pi then i will be b y r here r will be 45 plus 5 r will be 45 plus 5 is equal to 50 then put here i is b m by 50 b m by b m by pi upon 50 answer will be b m by 50 pi which is option number e Question. <coughs> Your question says that the current through a general diode in the given circuit, current through a general diode in given circuit which electrical 2004, option A is 33 milli ampere. B is 3.3 milliampere, C is 2 milliampere, and D is 0 milliampere. Now, come to question. Question says that this is the general diode having general resistance R is equal to 100 ohm, and the ground voltage is 3.3 volt. Then this diode replaced by this resistance and breakdown voltage, general breakdown voltage, which is 3.3 volt, and this resistance R Z. <coughs> Now this is 10 volt supply, and this branch A B and this is B C both are parallel, so voltage across B A B. Voltage across AB will be equal to voltage across BC. It means if you want to calculate voltage across RZ, it means VRZ. You want to calculate then 3.5 minus 3.3 will be 0.2 volt. Now, 0.2 volt is the voltage drop across the resistance RZ. If you want to calculate the current across the resistance R Z, then we apply V is equal to I. V is I. 